In this lecture, we will look at the famous trolley problem, a thought experiment, and underline its importance for engineering and responsible innovation. The trolley problem goes as follows. Suppose you're at the forking path of a downhill railway track and a trolley cart is hurtling down and will pass the junction where you stand. There's a lever that you can operate. If you do nothing, the trolley will drive on and kill five people who are tied down to the track further down the hill. If you do pull the lever, the trolley will be diverted to the other track where there is only one person tied down. Is it morally permissible to pull the lever or do you even have a moral obligation to do so? A simple calculation in the trolley case shows that one can save four lives by throwing the switch and the majority of people think, after some reflection and calculation, that it is morally permissible and most of them even think one has a moral obligation to save five, although one person loses his life as a result. Now suppose we change the story a bit and take the switch out of the story. Instead, now a fat man is standing on a bridge over the track in front of one. By pushing the fat man onto the track, one can stop the trolley before it hits the junction. One would expect that people would react in the same way to this case as to the lever version since it implies the same numbers and basically the same calculation, saving five by causing the death of one. However, empirical research, including brain imaging studies, show that we react in a different way to both cases. Although the numbers and the calculations are the same, in the lever case we primarily relied on reasoning and calculation in terms of lives lost. Given the option of pushing the fat man, we tend to react with disgust or laughter. It seems like a preposterous idea to use someone as a block and by doing so kill him. The reason why we pay attention to this artificial thought experiment is not to introduce you to the extensive body of literature, but rather to illustrate how thinking about responsible innovation requires a point of view on making moral choices and responsibility. Almost all philosophers in the last three decades have been raised on so-called trolley cases. It is so widely known that if you would like to do a PhD in trolley analysis, that would actually be a respectable topic in philosophy departments around the world, assuming that you would be able to add something new to the vast literature. I would like to point out that it adds a valuable dimension to our thinking about responsibility in a high-tech world. Let me just give one example, self-driving vehicles. These vehicles will unavoidably face situations in which a choice for alternative accidents needs to be made. But what should they do if a vehicle coming from the opposite direction is about to cause a crash? And there are two options, collide with that vehicle or change direction suddenly and hit a pedestrian. The automatic vehicle needs to choose and will do this based on the instructions given by the designers. From a consequentialist perspective, hitting and even killing the pedestrian is the preferred option because then only one person will be killed, probably less than the two persons, at least in the two vehicles. But from a Kantian perspective, this may not be the preferred option. Please remember, responsible innovation is about anticipating moral choice situations and taking responsibility for the responsibility of others in those situations. Thank you for watching.